Hey, David here from What Drives You, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I got a little bit inspired by my cousin's channel, Mike's Baseball Card Review. You should go check it out. I actually went and looked for my old baseball cards back when I collected baseball cards back in the early 90s. So I took a little bit of digging, but I finally found my baseball cards in the attic, and I went ahead and brought them here into the Model Y because why not? Gives me a little bit of room here to actually spread some cards out and look through them. We're going to look through the cards really quick and then uh, we'll probably send some of them off over to Mike to see what he thinks about some of these cards. See if he can get some values for some of the cards and that sort of thing. So. Like I said, something different. And if you like baseball cards or baseball, you should check out Mike's channel. He's got a lot of great content there. A little bit of nostalgia for me going back looking at baseball cards. Hadn't looked at that for a long time, but it's pretty interesting to go back and, and see what it's like. So let's check out some of these cards. So I have this album here. Some of my better cards, I guess. Cards, I guess, that were of players that I liked, but maybe not as good or valuable cards. Had actually purchased some boxes back in the day, 1993. Got series two tops cards, and I had obviously opened every one of these packs back in the day, gotten the cards out that I liked. Here's one from 1997. Got an upper deck box. Again, all these cards opened some of these cards kind of stuck together even. Strange. Then I got a little bit uh, smaller one here. Maybe some of my nicer cards. Got some Frank Thomas in there. Then I got this little box where I put some cards with actual cases or sleeves here. So we got a Ken Griffey Jr. Another Ken Griffey Jr. Jeff Bagwell. Albert Bell. Ken Griffey Jr. of course. Lots about Jeff Bagwell and King Griffey Jr. There's an Andrew Jones, Chipper Jones. There we go. So definitely Braves. I was big into Braves. Cal Ripken Jr. That's probably one of the other most frequent cards I have in my collection here. Lots of King Griffey Juniors, lots of Chipper Jones, Cal Ripken Juniors. There's an Alex Rodriguez. Lots of good cards in there. And then I've got my best cards, at least at the time. Some of these bigger cases. Got a good Chipper Jones here, Frank Thomas, Ken Griffey Jr. Chipper Jones, top prospect, 1991. And these, I guess, must have been the most valuable cards I had at the time. Got an Alex Rodriguez, star rookies. Alex Rodriguez again. Chipper Jones, rookie card. Uh, we got Jeff Bagwell, Andrew Jones, Andrew Jones, and Frank Thomas. Maybe Mike can check these out and see if these were actually some pretty good cards. So like I said, definitely a little different one today. Just talking about the baseball cards that I found in my attic from a long time ago. Uh, just a nice holiday weekend. We're kind of taking the, the weekend easy and figured I'd go and check some of these cards out and might get some of these sent over to Mike and get him to check them out on his channel and see what uh, some of these cards are worth. Some of them might be worth uh, a little bit more than, <laughs> than a dollar. I don't know, it's hard to say. Tons of cards in here. We've got uh, lots of boxes and old cards and the ones that have cases on them, I assume are worth more, but maybe we'll see if Mike can look some of them up and let me know. So I hope you all are having a good holiday weekend and are relaxing and don't forget to do what drives you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. <music>